Good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A blue bird. That's right. Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? A blue bird. Butterfly. Yes! And what's this? Hmm, it looks like a blue shoe. That's right! What's this one? That's a blue dragon. Rawr! Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a blue bird. A blue butterfly, a blue shoe, and a blue dragon. What do they all have in common? They're all blue. That's right. Today, I'm only painting blue things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make blue our special color of the day. colors like the color blue. Pig, Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Ooh. 
Um, I don't see any paintbrushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paintbrushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. Okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Mm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint. <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look. My paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. Look how smooth it looks. I'm tapping my sponge. It looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play! Uh-huh. But first... We clean up! Oh, right! That's right! Let's clean up together! Okay! okay. Which octopus is blue? There it is! Blue octopus. Which pants are blue? There it is. Blue pants. Which bird is blue? There it is. Blue bird. Which balloon is blue? There it is! Blue balloon. Very good! It's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Sizing Things Up. This book is about big things and small things. Let's read it. Let's begin. Sizing Things Up Written by Aparna Kapoor Illustrated by Debjota Saha The world is full of creatures and things. Some are big, some are small, most are somewhere in the middle. These are some of the biggest things we know. These are some of the smallest things we know. Some things look big because they're surrounded by smaller things. The same things may look small when they're surrounded by bigger things. What looks big from close by may look small from far away. Big things make bigger things. Bigger things make huge ones. Huge things make ginormous ones. Ginormous things make super-duper mega-jumbo ones. Small things are made of smaller ones. Smaller things are made of tiny ones which are made of eeny-teeny-weeny things. 
But even the eeny teeny weeny can make a super duper mega jumbo difference in this big, small world. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids! Hello, Mr. Frog! I'm going to teach you a song called I'm a Little Teapot. And look what I have in my backpack a banjo! I'll sing the song first, then you sing along with me. Okay, let's begin. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Now this time, we'll all sing together, okay? Okay! Yeah! Yes! I'm ready! Here we go! I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Well done! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Thank you for singing with me! Goodbye! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again! Juice! J, j, juice! Jewel! J, j, jewel! Jacket! J, j, jacket! Jaguar! J, j, jaguar! Jar! J, j, jar! Jellyfish! J, J, jellyfish. What letter do all these words start with? J. That's right. The letter J. Hey, everybody. Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too. Let's all play the alphabet game. When I show you a letter, say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? I! What's this letter? J! What's this letter? L! What's this letter? T! Now let's do it fast. I J L T J I T L I T J L I J L T. Nice work, everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game when you see a letter.
Hedgehog, you found me! No, we found you! Hi! <laughs> And now, it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again, we need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hush, little baby, don't say a word Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird If that mockingbird won't sing Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring If that diamond ring turns brass Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass if that looking glass gets broke Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat Mama's gonna buy you a cart and bull If that cart and bull turn over Mama's gonna buy you a dog named Rover If that dog named Rover won't bark Mama's gonna buy you a horse and cart if that horse and cart fall down You'll still be the sweetest little baby in town 